Hello and welcome back. This is part two of my dog playthrough. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I am going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. No, that won't work. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I am only protecting you, do you understand? Go to your room. I remember when she first said that to me, I was confused. I didn't know what Asgore was. I thought it was maybe some sort of group, some sort of sinister organization. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. You want to leave so badly? <laughs> you are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Wait. Why are you looking at me like that? Like you have seen a ghost. I played through once before having uh, killed her to get a different ending. Do you know something that I do not? No, that is impossible. Toriel blocks the way. You know, it's, it's so subtle, it's hard for me to even tell, but her eyes look like a very, very dark maroon. Like, not pure black, but like a dark red. If I look at it too closely, I can't, like, I don't even see it anymore. So, it's weird. for the fight. Ah, damn. It goes at different speeds. I think its speed is sort of randomized. Just like, just like its starting position is randomized. Because in the second to last one, it felt like went really quickly. Toriel prepares a magical attack.
still, you know. trying to f get all the endings, but still, it's really messed up dealing with that. She's such a good, pure-hearted character, and the game is really good at, I feel, at manipulating your emotions to, you know, feel a certain way, and also to not really know how to get through until you've, you know, you don't get further clues from the game until, like you just saw me, uh, in my case, you've done it the more obvious way. So. There we go. Undertale. By Toby Fox. There's a camera hidden in the bushes. <laughs> it's a tough looking branch. It's too heavy to pick up. It's been smashed like it was nothing. <laughs> you know, I also really like how it spooks you out at this part of the game after, you know, you don't know anything about what's beyond the ruins when you first play through the game, and it does a big deal of, like, you know, Toriel warning you that it's so dangerous out there. And so you don't know what to expect when you get out here. You, 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 you think it might be, well, like Flowey says, kill or be killed. Human... Huh? The old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. Wait a sec. Have you heard it before or something? You turned around before I said to. Weird. Whatever. You're a human, right? I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. <laughs> Sup, bro? You know what's up, brother? It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles! You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. Do you want to look? No, I don't have time for that! What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready! I will be the one! I must be the one! I will capture a human! Then I, the Great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve! Respect! Recognition! I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard! People will ask to be my friend! I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning! Hmm. Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans, you are not helping, you lazy bones! All you do is sit and boondoggle! 
you get lazier and lazier every day! Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done today. A skeleton. Uh, signs! Come on, you're smiling. I haven't, I hate it! <laughs> Sigh. Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself down to the bone. <laughs> I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> I wanted to put the right number of hands in there. So. Okay, you can come out now. You ought to get going. He might come back. And if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. What's the holdup? Look, there's nothing to be afraid of. It's just a dark cavern filled with skeletons and horrible monsters. Well? Just a conveniently shaped lamp. It's some sort of checkpoint or sentry station. But there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. Actually, hey, hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous, even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. The convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. This is a box. You can put an item inside or take an item out. The same box will appear later, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. Use the box? Yes. Tough glove. Weapon attack 5, a worn pink leather glove for five-fingered folk. An equipped tough glove. No Drake flutters forth. No Drake attack 12, defense 7. This teen comedian fights to keep a captive audience. Better not snow flake out. It smells like a wet pillow. Laugh. You laugh at Snow Drake's pun. See? Laughs! Dad was wrong! Snowdrake is pleased with its cool joke. You won, you earned 0 XP and 12 gold. It's a fishing rod affixed to the ground. Reel it in? Yes. All that's attached to the end is a photo of a weird looking monster. Call me, here's my number. You decide not to call. You send the line back out. So, yeah, um. One of the things I wanted to mention is, like, I, I like, at this point in the game, it's kind of interesting, you know, the effect it gives. You, you kind of, you're not sure what to make of it at this point. Like, the last scene was really comical, but at the same time, you know, you don't know whether to be afraid of Papyrus or if you can trust Sans, because he was, he kept hinting to Papyrus to check behind the lamp, like he was gonna, you know, let Papyrus find you and... And he says he's not dangerous, but, you know, you don't know what to expect at this point. So, as I was saying about Undyne... Sans, oh my god, is that a human? And it looks so familiar! Uh, I think it looks familiar, because it's a rock? Ow! Oh. Hey, what's that in front of the rock? Oh my god! Is, is that a human? Yes. Oh my god! Sans, I finally did it! Undyne will! I'm gonna... I'll be so... Popular! 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 Ahem! Human, you shall not pass this area! I, the Great Papyrus, will stop you! I will then capture you! You will be delivered to the capital! Then! Then! I'm not sure what's next. In any case, 
continue only if you dare. <laughs> well, that went well. Don't sweat it, kid. I'll keep an eye socket out for you. There's some narration on this cardboard box. You observe the well-crafted sentry station. Who could have built this, you ponder? I bet it was that very famous royal guardsman. Note, not yet a very famous royal guardsman. Ice cap struts into you. Ice cap, attack 11, defense 4. This teen wonders why it isn't named Ice Hat. What a great hat, mine. Cap also wants a hat for its nose. You manage to tear your eyes away from Ice Cap's hat. It looks annoyed. What? What are you doing? Ice Cap is secretly checking if you're looking at its hat. You continue not looking at Ice Cap's hat. It seems defeated. Fine! I don't care! Ice Cap is desperate for attention. You tried to steal Ice Cap's hat, and succeeded. It melts in your hands. What's the point? Ice Cap is no more. Ice, attack one, defense zero, without its cap. So cold. Aww. You inform Ice Cap that it still looks fine. So I can still impress you? doesn't mind its identity. You inform Ice Cap that it still looks fine, so I can still impress you. Oh, okay. Sometimes he says other stuff after that point. But that's a nice thing. I like, you know, the encouragement going above and beyond for this character. Though I don't support stealing people's hats, even if they're obsessed about them. You won, you earned 0 XP and 35 gold. There is a camera behind the sentry station. Absolutely no moving! Did something move? Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. If something was moving, for example a human, I'll make sure it never moves again! Doggo blocks the way. Doggo, attack 13, defense 7. Easily excited by movement. Hobbies include squirrels. Don't move an inch! Whoa! That's... Snowdrake's attack. Doggo can't seem to find anything. Is this a glitch? What? Doggo is too suspicious of your movements. Don't move an inch. Okay. Huh. I've never seen it do that before. Doggo can't seem to find anything. You pet Doggo. What? I've been pet! Pat, 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 pet, pot, pet. Doggo has been pet. You pet Doggo. Where is that coming from? Pot, pot, pet, pet, pot, pat, pot, pet. Doggo has been pet. You pet Doggo. There's no end to it! Uh, I'm not much of a dog person in real life, but the dogs in this game are adorable. Well, this is thorough! <laughs> you pet doggo. Okay, that's enough. Ooh, he gets serious again. Okay, I guess that is enough. You won, you earned 0 XP and 30 gold. S -s 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 something pet me, something that isn't m -m moving. I'm gonna need some dog treats for this. Hello? Is anybody there? No? Are you two playing a trick on me? Real funny. I believe he's talking about uh, the dog marriage, dogamy and dogarisa. Big guy, is that you? Come on. I think that's Greater Dog. Well, it's not the tall skeleton. He's too loud. Yeah, Papyrus does seem to be yelling all the time. 
Whoever you are, knock it off. Oh, I just figured out that what's in his mouth is a dog treat. Someone's been smoking dog treats. He's holding it in his mouth like a cigarette. I always thought it was his tongue, which I thought was weird. It's long and thin like a lizard's tongue or something. Hey, here's something important to remember. My brother has a very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move and it won't hurt you. Here's an easy way to keep it in mind. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red, so imagine a blue stop sign instead. Simple, right? When fighting, think about blue stop signs. Remember, blue stop signs. North, ice. South, ice. West, ice. East, Snowden Town. And ice. I'm gonna go north for the ice. Hello, I am a snowman. I want to see the world, but I cannot move. If you would be so kind, traveler, please. Take a piece of me and bring it very far away. Yes, thank you. Good luck. You got the snowman piece. How am I doing? By I, I mean the piece of me I gave you. Snowman piece heals 45 HP. Please take this to the ends of the earth. Really, though, that human? Do I know that person? Do you not know who you know? <laughs> of course I know who I know. I wanted to know if you know I know who I know as much as I know I know who I know, you know? <laughs> oh ho! Speak of the devil. In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles. I think you will find this one quite shocking. For you see, this is the invisible electricity maze. When you touch the walls of this maze, this orb will administer a hearty zap. Sound like fun? Because the amount of fun you will probably have is actually rather small, I think. Okay, you can go ahead now. Sans, what did you do? I think the human has to hold the orb. Oh, okay. Oh, man. Hold this, please. Okay, try now. You know, I don't know that there are any serious puzzles in Snowden. Incredible, you slippery snail. You solved it so easily, too easily. However, the next puzzle will not be easy. It is designed by my brother Sands. You will surely be confounded. I know I am. <laughs> Hey, thanks. My brother seems like he's having fun. By the way, did you see that weird outfit he's wearing? He made that a few weeks ago for a costume party. He hasn't worn anything else since. He keeps calling it his battle body. Man, isn't my brother cool? Ah, it's just more like repeat. I don't understand why these aren't selling. It's the perfect weather for something cold. Oh, a customer. Hello, would you like some ice cream? It's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 15 G. Mm -hmm. Well then, tell your friends. There's ice cream out in the middle of the woods. Play ball here. I've never been very good at this game. Never gotten red. Blue, hopping and twirling your original style pulled you through. You are awarded 2G. Oh, whatever. I've been thinking about selling treats too. Want some fried snow? It's just 5G. Did I say 5G? I meant 50G. Really? How about 5,000G? 50,000G. That's my final offer. What? You don't have the money. Hey, that's okay. I don't have any snow. His, hers. Smell danger rating. Snow smell, snowman, white rating. Can become yellow rating. Unsuspicious smell, puppy, blue rating. Smell of rolling around. These are hints for later. Weird smell, humans, green rating. Destroy at all costs. You know, I, re I did see those signs before I ever faced the dog marriage. And 
Ah, wow. Whoa, it's a hole. <laughs> it looks like a snowball. Actually, it's a snow decahedron. But I didn't really piece together what those clues meant until after I had the fight with them for the first time. Human, I hope you're ready for... Sands? Where's the puzzle? It's right there, on the ground. Trust me, there's no way they can get past this one. Okay, so... Uh -huh. Fall, monster, cigars, um, winter, skeletons, sig, uh, spring, um, mermaid, Yes, Fickle Fibber isn't there, <laughs> but I think that's hilarious anyway. Um. Uh, yeah, there it is. Summer, Robot, and Hot. Okay, I'm done. Sirens, I didn't do anything! <laughs> Whoops. I knew I should have used today's crossword instead. What? Crossword? I can't believe you said that. In my opinion, Junior Jumble is easily the hardest. What? Really, dude? That easy peasy word scramble. That's for baby bones. Unbelievable. Human, solve this dispute. Which is harder, Jumble or crossword? Well, just to appease Papyrus, I'm gonna say Jumble. Ha! Ha! Yes! Humans must be very intelligent if they also find a Junior Jumble so difficult! Yeah! Ha! Ha ha! Thanks for saying Junior Jumble just to appease my brother. Welcome, Sans. Yesterday he got stumped trying to solve the horoscope. Oh, man. It's a note from Papyrus. Human! Please enjoy this spaghetti! Little do you know, this spaghetti is a trap! Designed to entice you, you'll be so busy eating it that you won't realize that you aren't progressing. Thoroughly japed again by the great Papyrus. <laughs> Papyrus. It's a plate of frozen spaghetti. It's so cold, it's stuck to the table. It's an unplugged microwave. All of the settings say spaghetti. I love this game. It's just so silly. Knowing the mouse might one day find a way to heat up the spaghetti, it fills you with determination. Well, that's all the time I have this time. See you guys next time.